Nothing can be taken for granted when you get to Mars. There's a lot of things we just don't know. Space always has a way of throwing us curveballs and surprising us. I mean, until we get the data that says we're on the ground safely, I'm going to be worried that we're not going to make it. Return relay race, there's a lot of work on the line. After entry, we get rid of really the spacecraft part of, of the rover that's been supporting us. We come at 12 to 13,000 miles per hour. And the heat shield is what the vehicle will continue actually flying itself through the atmosphere. It's sort of like a transforming vehicle that went from a spacecraft and now it's kind of like an aircraft actively guiding itself. Shoot. It's the biggest supersonic parachute we've ever sent to another planet. It's critical for slowing down the vehicle. Fundamentally, Perseverance is a different rover. She's bigger, she has different instruments. We've added a lot of smarts on the inside to make it more capable. Basically an ancient lake bed and one of the most promising places to look for evidence of ancient microbial life and to collect samples for future return to Earth. You look at Jezero, all you see is danger. How do we go to a site that field which has protected us all the way through entry is no longer necessary. We need to get that off so that we can actually see the ground. Perseverance will be the first mission once Perseverance has figured out where she is, we jettison the back shell and parachute and light up our rockets. Those rockets help. We have indication that crew stage separation has been confirmed by the spacecraft. We're off on a good start. In about one minute, Perseverance's landing software will wake up and begin the final preparations for entry. The first action it will do is to fire warm-up pulses with its entry thrusters. These pulses ensure that the spacecraft gets the thrust that it wants during entry interface. We're about nine minutes from entry interface. The spacecraft Perseverance is currently transmitting heartbeat tones. These tones indicate that Perseverance is operating normally and has nothing significant to report. Yes. Yes. The navigation yes. has confirmed that the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration in the velocity. Our current velocity is 440 meters per second at an altitude of about 12 kilometers from the surface of Mars. first image from Perseverance on the surface of Mars. Now it comes from the engineering cameras known as the hazard camera. Uh, this camera is mainly used to help the rover drive safely around Mars and we will get higher resolution photos later in the day. <laughs> we also have a student question for you. This is Sophia's video. You know, this is a sign. NASA works. NASA works. And when we put our arms together and our hands together and our brains together, we can succeed. This is what NASA does. This is what we can do as a country on all of the problems we, we have. We need to work together to do these kinds of things and make success happen. At this point, the descent stage has flown away to a safe distance. Perseverance is continuing to transmit direct through Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to Earth.